the what? Uh, analysis. What? Oh, sorry. We have failed. Hey, it looks like the satellite is around like Saturn or something. I know. We have failed. The enemy has deactivated the Hyperion. Self-destruct. Oh, shit. Is there anything we can do on this end? This is like the most stressful tech support call ever. Nothing. Well, maybe there is something we can do. If we can get the kernel into Hyperion's main computer, he might be able to reactivate it directly. It's our only chance. These people are experts at using five words when one will do. This is Scott. I heard what you said. I'm very hurt that you would talk about my hair like that behind my back. I'm right here, guys. <laughs> I'm all around you, kind of. I'm digital now. <laughs> Get me there now. I just wait. This game is this game is actually in the Mindjack universe, Nick. Oh no! Get me there now. Explain so much. Is that okay, Colonel? The transmission program is running now. Okay, so now they're beaming my my digital Kabuki self from the computers on Earth into that one in space. You are approaching the final battle. Round five. Three. Oh, I didn't get a new weapon this time. Nice. Round six, start. Okay, is that just a pet peeve of just mine? What's that? Like when people talk about you like you're not sitting right there. Oh, no. Uh, again. Whoa! I'm at a boss already? Oh, my God. Well, that last one barely qualified yeah, as a boss. Yeah, that's true. Is there no final... Is there no stage six? Just a, just a final boss? Maybe. Why don't you look that up? I, I have no idea how. Oh, well, I guess I could just look up a... Oh, I can't drop through these platforms. God. Interesting. And again, not really very computer-themed. Very organic, though. That's not so hard so far. I'm assuming there's some other form. Nope, round six is the end. It's gonna be kind of a kind of a letdown if this is it. Although. It's kind of weird if the fourth boss was the hardest one in the game. This thing is creepy as hell looking, by the way. It's like I a know. face, kind of, but... Like I said, I got... Hats off to, like, the, like sort of the visual design of this game. Because, I mean, I mean, we, we, we rag on the whole b weirdness of the cold Kabuki thing, but it really is pretty unique among the NES games, you know? Very cerebral. Literally, yeah. it's like I'm surrounded by brain tissue here. This can't it be a final boss. Like there has to be a second. I actually... I'm pretty sure there's a second form. Yeah, it's... It's pulsing. It's thinking. There we go. Or no. Oh, no music! Final boss music, cool. Yeah. Oh, okay, that's a bit more effective. What do I attack now? Okay, it's still that thing. Interesting. Looks like some sort of insect. Almost. Good thing I have all those chips from the previous level. I know. I'm actually strongly reminded of um, Splatterhouse. Oh, yeah! Yeah, I can see, I see what you mean there. Yeah. Yeah, the visual is a little similar, which is strange, because this is not a horror game. I can't... Ah, I 
gotta keep, I guess I gotta use the Splash Bombs. Okay. And you know, we never tried that remote control Bolo. No. You know, I don't know if he can hit me here. Whoa! This is awesome! <laughs> and to think, Nick, you are bad-mouthing the remote control Bolo. <laughs> I'll stand by it. Alright, unintentional best weapon of the game, I'll give it that. Oof. Maybe that oh damn. Oh cool, it just zooms in on it. Hmm. Can he hit me here? I don't know. Oh no, okay, yeah, he can, but yeah. only when he's in a very specific position. See, that's doing more than a regular bolo would, though. Well, yeah, I mean, well, I'm doing more than a regular kabuki <laughs> actor would do in this situation, Nick. <laughs> if you're really going to start criticizing the portrayal of, you know, the game's bolo physics. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I would think it's more like a, um... I mean, Nick, if this is what breaks your suspension of disbelief... <laughs> Yeah, this is this is what's doing it for me. It was it was a grittily realistic portrayal of 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 computers until now, but I love that the um, on the Wikipedia I think it says despite the game's futuristic appearance, all computers appear to run on a six five oh two database system. Oh yeah, well that the reason for that is because when you start off, remember all that numbers? That was actual computer actual like eighties computer code. Yeah. I just love how how that's something that they know. Like, it's not very futuristic. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm curious. I'd be curious to see what uh, the Japanese translation of all this is. Now this might be a place where he really can't hit me. Who made this game? What's that? Who made this? Like, what, what team Wait, Nick! This? Hold on! Historic moment! Oh. Wait. God damn it. Need... I, I, I've, I've traded chips for life. I've never actually traded life for chips before, but now I have an occasion. It's d Is that it? <laughs> I believe so. Hey, it took my lives. You notice they went down? Maybe, if, well, I guess if you beat it, that's just... What? Yeah, extra points. Oh! So much, so much for so Hyperion. Much for Saturn. A message from Hyperion. Mission accomplished. The self-destruct program has been reconnected. Been more than reconnected, it was... Activated already. Were you able to recover the kernel? Not yet. Of course. I wish they had, like, di attribution text here, because it's, it's kind of confusing. Of course, if he was still inside that program when Hyperion blew up. Ellipses. 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 It's actually, this is actually Morse code. We're supposed to... This is Scott. Control room. Can you hear me? Ground yeah, control to Colonel Scott. <laughs> Are you receiving? You've really made the grade, and we, Colonel, we had given you up for dead. After the, after being out of contact for two seconds, we just kind of assumed. 
We already sent stuff to your wife. And <laughs> she's remarried, actually. She's got a kid with the other guy. I'd like to return to my body now. That would probably be my first priority, too. Can I, can I not be a cyber kabuki a anymore? I'd like to go home, please. <laughs> can you pick me up at the access point? Right. Wait, pick up? I don't, I'm not... Uh, let's not overthink it. Ah! The Hyperion Research Satellite has been reduced to space dust. According to the investigation that followed, while the kernel was inside the satellite, the virus that had invaded the computer had grown and mutated at an extraordinary rate. The virus, no had taken, the virus had taken the information from the computer banks and used it to spread terror across the universe! Oh no! Their stated goal of conquering the known universe was almost realized. But the human spirit and need for freedom and kabuki are strong. Thanks to the efforts of valiant men like the Colonel, the spirit of Japanese dance lives on for all the peoples of planet Earth. But we must be ever vigilant. Cuts in government funding for kabuki programs, well... Who knows when this kind of terrorism might rise again? That wasn't really... That was a full-blown invasion. That wasn't terrorism. And so by I, aliens, apparently? I'm so, I'm so confused. Like, they're like, we're gonna take over the universe and it's just one satellite that was apparently decommissioned. It's... Nick, to be fair, that... That's more story than, like, 95% of games of this era. And probably better translation than in at least 95% of the games of this era. So I'm not going to be too hard on it. Oh, so that, that's Kabuki Quantum Fighter, everybody. It's not easy, especially gets quite punishing later on. But it's a pretty neat game. And I, I, I'm glad you decided to revisit it. It's too bad it never really... Too bad, like I said, too bad it never really got any recognition. Because it is... It's fun, and it is... It, it, it was very different, you know, it, among in a world full of, at the time, full of just, you know, generic platformers and side-scrolling action, they dared to have, yes, this is a kabuki actor, and yes, he is fighting a horde of biomechanical computer monstrosities. Hey. Presented, yeah, presented by Hal America. Nice job. The end. So, Nick. Yes. Colonel Connor for Smash Brothers, what do you say? Ah, uh, confirmed. Oh, damn right. <laughs>